Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to get dual monitors working on a late 2012 Mac Mini. Uh, if you're like me, you went and bought your Mac Mini, you want to do dual screens. So, you get home, you plug in the adapter that comes with the Mac Mini, the HDMI to DVI into your primary monitor. It works great. So, if you do also what I did, you go and get the... Apple DVI to mini display port. So, if you hook this guy up, it's actually not going to work. So I'm going to plug this up to my second display. I'm going to plug it up to my mini display port right here, if I can get to it. Right next to the HDMI. And you're going to see your main monitor flash and come back on and then nothing's going to happen on your second monitor. So, the reason that is, is because the mini display port to DVI for the second screen, the adapter you get from Apple, is passive and not active. So guess what, you just wasted your money trying to get dual monitors to work on this guy from Apple. What you need is an active adapter, not a passive, but an active adapter. So here's one I picked up off of eBay. Um, both of these actually work if you have VGA. Almost all VA, VGAs are active. This is a rocket fish. And this DVI actually ended up being active. Um, and I wasn't even sure. So I'll post the link on this guy. So let's say if we take this active DVI adapter, we plug it right back up to this same monitor I just showed you. Plug this guy up again to your Thunderbolt, aka mini display port here in the back. Now your screen's going to flash again, and if you wait for it, bam, there you go. Now your second monitor works, and you're good to go. I think I spent on that active DVI adapter like $7 on eBay shipped or something, so it came out good. So again, I'm using an Acer 20-inch monitor the resolution is like 1600 by uh, something and then the Dell is a 24 inch uh, I believe like 1920 by 1080 resolution so um, again if you have a like an Apple dis display monitor or something it'll be a little different but for most monitors where you don't need the actual big dual DVI adapter um, you just need to get you an active adapter. So anyway, that's my understanding from my research. Hope that helps. Appreciate it.